Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on real numbers. Let a and b be two positive integers such that a is equal to p to the power of 3 times q to the power of 4 and b is given as p to the power of 2 times q to the power of 3 where p and q are prime numbers. If the HCF or the highest common factor of the two positive integers a and b is given as p to the power of m times q to the power of n and the lowest common multiple that is LCM of a and b is given as p to the power of r times q to the power of s then m plus n times r plus s is equal to. So here in this question we have to find out the product of the sum of the powers of HCF and sum of the powers of LCM. So let us begin by writing A as so P to the power of 3 is being written as P times P times P and Q to the power of 4 I have written and multiplied Q 4 times with itself. Similarly we are going to write B as p to the power of 2 is written as p times p and q to the power of 3 is written as q times q times q. So let us first start by finding the HCF of the two integers. So HCF is the common factors between the two integers. So let us circle out the common terms from a and b. So there is 1p and there is 1p common from a and b. So let us write over here p. And again we can see that there is one more p common out. So we can write another times p. Then we can see that there are three q's which are common in a and b. So I am going to circle them out and since there are three q's so let me write it as q times q times q. So in short I can write it as p to the power of 2 times q to the power of 3. Now let us find out the LCM of the given integers a and b. So the lowest common multiple is given as the product of common terms with non-common terms. Now the common terms is nothing but the HCF of a and b. So we have already found out the common terms over here. So we can write here p to the power of 2, q to the power of 3 times non-common terms. They are the terms which I have not circled in the given integers a and b. So I have p and q which are being left over. So let me write it as p times q. Now here I am going to add the powers of p because this is the multiplication of the same two letters. So I am going to use the laws of indices by writing p to the power of 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. Then I am going to write the letter Q and by using the laws of indices, I am going to add the powers of Q as 3 plus 1, so it becomes 4. Now if we look at the question, they want us to multiply the powers of HCF and the powers of LCM. But before that, we have to add up the powers of HCF. So here we are going to compare the powers of the HCF that is p to the power of m times q to the power of n. So we have here m as 2 that is by comparing p with p and comparing q we get n is equal to 3. So here we have m plus n as 2 plus 3 which is nothing but 5. The next thing is let us find out what is r and s by comparing it with the LCM which is given as p to the power of r times q to the power of s. So again by comparison we can say that r is equal to 3 that is the power of p and s is equal to 4 that is the power of q. So here we can write as r plus s is equal to 3 plus 4 which is nothing but 7. So finally this is m plus n times r plus s. So m plus n we got it as 5 
multiplied with r plus s we have it as 7. So, the answer is 35. So, we have the value of m plus n times r plus s as 35. So, this is the required answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So, if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.